I love to eat a giant bowl of greens without feeling like I'm eating a giant bowl of greens. Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously I love salad. We know that. But if you were to take all of the extra things in salad, the fruit, the cheese, the nuts, the dressing, you know, like all of those things that like make it fun. And if you could just imagine eating like a giant bowl of greens, even if it had oil and salt on it, it feels like it would be a lot of work. Ugh, like the chewing and the uh, and, uh it just, uh, it's not really what I'm about. But soup, soup, you can slurp, soup, you can season. Soup, you can eat with bread and butter. Well, we did pink soup, and now we're doing green soup. Somehow, green soup doesn't sound quite as appetizing, even though a lot of our food is green. But you know, we've got green juice, green smoothies. I'm sure somebody's made green ice cream. Clearly there's something to this color. But I think when it comes to green soup, people tend to imagine like mushy overcooked vegetables. And that is not what we're going for here. This soup is bright and fresh and just screams spring. No overcooked vegetables on my watch. I like to call this a compost soup. I am not doing myself any favors here trying to make this sound enticing. Just stick with me. I swear it's delicious and you will not be upset. I just call it that because you can grab a lot of vegetable odds and ends from your fridge, things that are gonna go bad in a couple of days. We're gonna circle back to that because first we need a base. I'm going to start with what I like to call a lazy mirepoix. This is literally the same components that you would put in a mirepoix, which I use as a base in many soups and stews, but not chopped as carefully. I have a short on how to chop mirepoix here. The classic combination is onion, carrot, and celery. I often like to add fennel. You don't necessarily need to have all of these vegetables and any combination of this will do. Whatever you have on hand, don't stress too much. I have this green garlic in my fridge that needed to get used. Green garlic is a younger version of garlic that is less intense and is usually found in the springtime. So it was perfect. Obviously, if you don't have that, you can just substitute regular garlic cloves and I would do two to four, depending on how garlicky you like things. Let's get to this actual soup part. In a hot pot, add some olive oil. I also like to add some butter. You want the bottom to be completely coated. Add your rough chopped mirepoix and sweat these out for a few minutes. Salt. I'm salting pretty generously here because my homemade broth is not salted. I do this on purpose so I can control the salt from situation to situation. Also adding pepper here. And this liquid will also be the cooking liquid for our green vegetables. If you have store-bought stock, check the salt level and make an educated guess. You can also add more salt later, but something to keep in mind is that layering salt in the early stages of cooking will result in a more complex flavor but also don't oversalt. Don't forget, you got this. So when my vegetables look nice and tender, I add about two liters of stock. This is chicken, but obviously vegetable is fine. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You should definitely be making your own stock. It's basically free. Here's my short on it. To this mixture, I am adding a Parmesan cheese rind which I am tying a string to so it doesn't get lost. Once I was making this soup and I forgot about my cheese rind and then it went into the blender and it ruined my soup. My blender wasn't too happy either. 
please, please, please do not skip the cheese rinds. It doesn't have to be Parmesan. It can be grana or pecorino or any kind of similar hard aged cheese in that family. The amount of flavor that comes from this little scrap of cheese is so incredible. It adds such a lovely, salty, umami richness. If you don't have a rind, but you have one of those tubs of pre-grated cheese, go ahead and toss in a handful of that. And if you're vegan, maybe try adding some miso. I think that could be cool. This should steep for no less than 20 minutes, but one to two hours would be primo. Chef's kiss. I think I look pretty weird doing that, so maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> Whatever. I understand that we are busy people and we lead busy lives and we don't all have time to sit around and let our soup infuse with cheese. So do what you can. It's gonna be great. While that's happening though, you can pick your fresh herbs. We have mint, pretty important. Parsley, pretty important. If you're only gonna choose two herbs today, choose these. Basil, we know summer is coming when we have basil. These are really, I'm gonna say the most important herbs here, but I happen to have some dill in my fridge. It's seen better days and I don't want it to go to waste, so I'm throwing it in. And I have some cilantro as well because I have a ton of it and it all tastes good. And I'm just gonna pick everything off of its stalks. These are all what are called soft herbs, whereas things that we tend to see in the fall and winter, like rosemary and thyme and sage, are hard herbs. Stick to soft herbs for the soup. You could also add things like chives, tarragon, or chervil. When you are satisfied with the flavor of your broth, remove your cheese rind. Time to start adding all of our greens. I have broccolini stems, asparagus bottoms, snap peas, because why not? Wait. I'm more or less trying to go in order of how long it will take each vegetable to cook. Spinach and throwing in a couple parsley stems here. I want to cook them until tender, but not mushy. And they should still remain bright green, never turning brown. The hardier stalks might take six to eight minutes, but something like leafy greens only take a minute or two. So keep your eyes peeled, and when in doubt, err on the side of undercooked instead of overcooked. The blender will do the work for you. When ready, place your picked herbs in the bottom of the blender, add the broth and vegetables, and blend. If you don't have a Vitamix, first of all, no worries, no shade. The only reason I have one is because of a very lucky thrift store loading dock situation. Although I would pay full price for one, now that I have one, knowing what I know. Not sponsored. Anyway, back to the whole part of if you don't have the Vitamix, definitely chop your greens up more than I did. This will make much easier work for your blender. And you may have to do two batches. Clean out any remaining vegetable chunks that were in the bottom of your pot. We wanna start with a nice, clean surface for our nice, smooth soup. This might be a little bit extra, but I do always strain my soup just to get it like perfectly velvety. There's a lot of fibrous things that we put in here and I wanna filter some of that out. But you can obviously skip this. If you are straining and all you're getting is green water to come through, just skip it or maybe only do it like half and half. You still wanna have some body to your soup. To my blended mixture, I'm adding some lemon zest. 
the juice of one to two lemons and some extra grated cheese, because why not? Maybe a bit more pepper, potentially more salt if it's needed. Taste it, see what it needs, add more. olive oil, flaky salt, mild chili pepper, nasturtium petals. For those who don't know, nasturtiums are a spicy edible flower that grow rampant in California, like weeds, but all parts of them are edible and they're great in salads and on soup and a million other ways. If I'd had yogurt on hand, I would have squeezed some lemon juice and salt into it and topped it with that. That would be delicious. And serve with some crusty bread and butter or whatever you'd like. I love to dress up my soup even when I'm eating alone. It's just more fun that way. Makes it feel less like I'm eating a bowl of food that was days away from being composted but a delicious bowl of food that was days away from being composted, even without the toppings. If you would be so kind to give this video a thumbs up, it greatly supports the channel. Broken record. <laughs> so we've done pink soup and we've done green soup. Summer is coming and I'm not big on gazpacho, but I do love corn chowder. So maybe we do yellow soup? Let me know in the comments if you wanna see some summer soup. Bye.